Hey everyone, I'm David Clark and I'm here with Vinay Nalam, who is a program manager on Dynamics 365 field service team specializing in universal resource scheduling. And today we want to talk about how to apply time zones to a work order and then schedule in that time zone. And we also want to talk about how the calendar interface is updated in the October Wave 2 release. So hey Vinay, thanks for joining and please show us this new feature. Hey Dave, hello everyone. Absolutely, I would love to do that. Uh, so let's take a look at how we can create a work order and uh, pass in a specific time zone so that you can look for the resources in that who are working in that specific time zone and schedule them to your customer's work. So let's get started with a simple work order creation. Now, on, on the familiar work order interface, uh, you can go ahead and click the uh, required fields. I'm going to choose this as the service account, and I'm going to look for the work order as AC installation is what this work order for, and use the, uh, the price list required here. And now here, the work hour templates is a way you can pass in a time zone in which you're looking for your resources. And when you pass a specific time zone, let's say I'm looking for resources in GMT time zone. I'm going to use that work hour template and, and then make changes and I'm going to save my form. Now, what is going to happen here is the work order is going to pass that uh, time zone that is present in that work hour template to the requirement that gets created. Now, if you click book on this work order form here, you would see the schedule uh, assistant that opens up and shares the results or the available resources in that respective time zone. Let's do that quickly. When you click book on this uh, work order to find and view the available resources in your region, you can see that a list of resources were available in the area returned. And when you click on the scheduler settings, you see that the time zones that are presented here are being shown in the uh, GMT time zone. This is because we passed the specific time zone and the work hour template. And what happened in the background is that the, the work order passes this time zone of the GMT and it's going to pass it to the requirement record that is created. So if we go and take a look at the requirement that is generated and you click on modify calendar, it opens up the calendar that is associated with the requirement and it creates that calendar in that respective time zone. GMT. The interface that you're uh, viewing here, this is the new interface that we are uh, uh, releasing for uh, the October wave. And this is a unified, uh, this is an interface that is aligned with the unified interface experience, replacing the legacy controls that, that, are, uh, that are in the market. Now you can make a change to this time zone here, or this is the time zone in which your results are going to be displayed. Let's say if we go back to the, the work order that we just created, if we don't pass a time zone, what is going to happen? So let's go through that scenario quickly. Now, when you're creating a work order, if if you pass to choose a specific time zone, you can pass in your uh, work hour template. If you don't do that, uh, the, the work order is going to pass the time zone of the uh, resource who's creating, uh, the user who's creating this uh, work order and uh, create the requirement with that specific time zone. For example, now I'm the user who's creating this record and my user preferences have my time zone as specific time. Now, without passing the workout template, I'm going to save this record and click book on it. So schedule assistant is going to retrieve all the available resources who are uh, available to get this job done. And if you click at the uh, gear icon right here, you would see that this requirement or the work order is created in the Pacific time zone and the results are also retrieved in the Pacific time zone. Because uh, I created, as a user, I created the work order and I see my time zone in the user preferences as specific time. So if you, do the same check that we just did. If we go back to the requirements that were generated for this work order, you can open them up and then you can click on modify calendar and you would see that the time zone is created at specific time. Now, once you have created 
a requirement. This is the time zone of the calendar, but if you wish to change this to a different time zone, you could still make the change on the requirements calendar. Make the change, save it, and go back to the uh, work order. Save. I'm going back to the work order. I click book. Now this time around, uh, again, when the schedule uh, assistant goes, looks for uh, the available resources, it looks at the requirement calendar and it sees that the, uh, the time zone is changed to uh, a different time zone. So the time zone of the user is uh, always uh, present in the personal options or the personalization options for the individual users. And you click on the gears icon to the right, uh, right top corner, and you would see the personalization settings. And the time zone can be used from here. So this is the specific time zone in which, uh, 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 in which my user record is set up. And workout templates. If you go to the resource options underneath uh, the field service sitemap, and you would see that there are workout templates up here. And these are the existing workout templates. And you could create new work hour templates by uh, by fault by naming it specific time zone. And you could choose the resource that you are using as a template. I'm going to use uh, uh, John Clark as the user. You could choose any resource that you want to templatize their calendar. You could make that change and save. And now underneath the workout templates, you see that there is a new workout template uh, for specific time zone. You could apply the specific time zone uh, workout template or uh, to a resource or to a requirement as needed uh, during the creation of uh, the requirement or uh, after the creation of a resource. The time zone of the user that creates the record or the owner of that record is only taken into consideration during the creation of the requirement. But after the fact that a requirement record is created, uh, changing the owner or reassigning to a different different uh, owner, uh, it does not reflect the change of the time zone back into the requirement. Uh, 